one guy right on under. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's uh, August 6th, and today is another Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operations 2 game update. Um, and before we get in the meat of the update, let me just say, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I would much appreciate it if you guys did that. It means a lot to me, and I'd love to see my numbers keep going up. Um, I believe we're getting close to 8,000 right now. Um, maybe I hit it. I actually haven't checked on YouTube today. So I'm really close, and if you guys could, I would really love to hit that number and uh, break through that um, goal of mine. Uh, so let's just get right into it. Thank you. Alright, so this week, or these next four days, is the GBO days of, uh, GBO days of the month, basically. Uh, it's every month, you know, first Thursday through Sunday of every month, same deal, you get free suits, you get bonuses if you're new or returning players. Nothing out of the ordinary there. But what is out of the ordinary is this beautiful, beautiful mobile suit, the Quebly. Um, three-star Quebly, it's ground and space, it's 650 costs for the level one beautiful uh we have a general unit cost 650 like i said um it's axis it has funnels it has uh funnel attack variations include pincer surround and follow uh pincer and surround i believe are similar to the Xiong unit um that we have we've had for it feels like a year now the follow one is new and i'm very interested in that so let's just jump right in and take a look at it So, there it is, guys. Um, we see the Quebly has a arm wrist kind of uh, beam rifle. Um, we sort of saw the different views of the funnels in action. The follow one looks like the five funnels kind of make a, a hexagon around you or something. They follow you in and do some uh, range shooting around you. Um, you saw the, uh, what is it, pincer and surround it looked like, I believe, where it kind of went around and they were, did random shots around the enemy, kind of like in the TV show. So pretty cool. Um, I did like that finisher move kind of thing at the end of the video where all the funnels came out and just zapped in the one guy. That was really cool. Um, and another really cool item this week is uh, Neo Xeon 6 uniform and Haman 01 helmet. Um, these are the flashiest items I've seen in this game. And uh, I love it. You know, like the Gog holding onto the arm was pretty fun and cool. But these are class. Th this looks cool. This is very much double Z like flashiness right there. So th I'm. This is cool that getting in uh, this week's set or this update. Um, we have other new units, which I was kind of surprised to see. I thought they would have kind of pushed them to the side. But we have the GM Custom Level Three and the GM Cannon Two, both 500 cost, space and ground being added in the game. Um, I kind of thought that double eighty three suits would be just kind of pushed away at this point. But um, I guess they're still coming in, and I do love the GM Cannon. I think I have the level two version, mostly maxed out for enhancements. Is most as I or the basics are maxed out. I'm working on the upgraded two versions. Um, so both very cool updates. Our two uh, new suits are very cool, I should say. Um, for this week's boosted supply drop, it's a special limited 72 hour pull. Um, so. It's these three, it looks like we got the Rick Diaz, we got the Hayashiki, Hayakushiki, excuse me, and the Gundam th 2, I was almost said 3. Um, so step 1, you pick from 4 powerful hand-picked units, 1 guaranteed mobile suit, and a 10 pull at half off, so that's great. Um, again, you get f from 4 powerful hand-picked units, I don't know what these units are, oh, hold on, <laughs> excuse me. So we have, oh, here's the three units. Oh, the four, okay. So step one, you get the Rick Diaz, level one, or the Striker Custom, level two? Okay. Why is that? Striker Custom. I don't need, I'm not really familiar with that suit, but that's cool with me. It's not level two, so obviously it's been in the game. Full Armor Gundam, ground type, level two. Gun Cannon Detector, level two. All cool units. Very cool, very cool. Step two, 
the Hayaku Shiki, the DJ, the GPO3 Stalman, or the Full Armor Gundam. That's cool with me. These are all decent, good suits. Uh, let's see. Step 3. The Mark II Gundam, the GPO2 BB, level 2, the Full Armor 7th Gundam, I don't have, and the Kaplant would be cool. So, I, I would say, I'm trying to think, I, ha I don't have the Hayaku Shiki. That'd be cool. The Striker Custom, I don't have. And then, uh, the Full Armor 7th or Kaplant, either one I would be, I would be for. So that's pretty cool. Um, so a, a decent step up program this week. I like it. Uh, moving on in the recycle counter, they've added GOG level 1 and 2, which I have don't have a GOG, and I would so happy that I'm going to probably buy it today. So um, the suit's been around a long time, but still, it's, it's a great suit. Um, and we also have, is this added to, I assume this is part of the recycle counter? Uh, we have the yellow and white uh, Neo Zeon Axis um, logos. We can throw on the Quebleys to really get that uh, that good look going. And then the DP Exchange counter, we have the Juaga, Jago, Jagu level three, and the GM Guard Custom level two are both added to the DP Exchange. Um, now we also have another thing update here: the beauty tickets will be available for purchase in the game store starting from blah blah blah. Which can be used in the beauty salon. Okay. Um, in addition, one free ticket. Oh, that's all new. I feel like this update here. I don't know. They've already given us the, the beauty salon. So, whatever. I did see it was on the store. The PlayStation store. You could buy one beauty ticket for I don't know how much. But, um, let's see. The normal weekend battle schedule they've been doing. Where it's just basically everything on a two hour rotation. Um... And then the clan match schedule. I haven't looked at this for some time. What do we got here? Clan match begins. Uh, I'm interested in the rewards, not what a clan match is. Uh, participant, good. Glorious rewards. Are you not telling me what the rewards are? Because you hate me? Oh, it's just the same page. Oh, okay. So... Oh, Dom Cannon single gun type. Ah, whatever. I, I don't know why I'm... That's been out there for a bit, I believe. So, some decent stuff. And just to double check what's going on, let us check out what's going on in the game directly with the uh, counter and all that stuff. If my PS4 wants to load here. Oh, not what I wanted. One second, guys. And, oh, no, we're thinking about it. It doesn't want to go back to Gundam. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I did want to check the supply counter directly because some weeks I noticed they add stuff that obviously isn't in there normally. And I also have all these uh, special drops to do, so... Let's see, DP Exchange Counter. So the three suits they also added, it looks like the new rival Zaku 2 Heavy Arms Level 3 was added. And then we got the new weapons, or just upgraded versions for the Juagu and the GM Guard. Nothing new for custom parts or clothing there. Recycle Counter, I have listed the GOG Level 1, GOG Level 2, and the G-Line Standard Armor Level 2 has been today's lineup. And then also the Zaku, Zaku Bazooka Level 2, Hyper Bazooka 2 times Level 2, and the Large Heat Hawk. Um, and we have a new part, which I rarely see, a Shield Reinforcement Level 4 has been added. And then, like I said earlier, the markings, and that's about it for that. So since we're here, why the hell not? Let's just see what I get in all these. This special supply drop. Oh, I got boosted. Is that the free one? Okay, you know what? Why not? We'll just go and knock out these free ones here, add it in the video for the week, and see what we get. And again, guys, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. I'm trying to make it a little more interesting with getting a supply drop at the end, or 11, or however we want to say it. Let's go right to it. Uh, Could have been better. Could have been better. But uh, what else we got? Is this it? Yeah. So, like earlier, guys, I... You know, I'm saying I appreciate it. If you guys leave comments, let me know if you like what I'm doing. 
say if I, if I suck at it, anything. I'll take all criticism. Turn some volume for this. Alright, so Medea, I'm just going to skip it, but hey, Armor GM, I'll take it. Beam Saber, I'll take it. Solid, solid. High Mobility Zaku Ground Type. Wow, I, I don't, I'm not, I don't, I don't think I've seen that guy. But I'll take, that's great. Dom level two, okay. It's an old suit. Zaku Kane level five, what is it, like 400 cost, 350 cost? Oh, Yelgo Marine, that's pretty good. I, I like that suit for some reason, it just looks cool. Silver, I'll take it, I'll take it. Oh, yes, didn't that just come out today? Right, am I crazy? I just talked about that three minutes ago. I love the GM cannon. Like, I love it. Another silver, all right, cool. Gelgoog, I'm, oh, cool, I could use this upgrade, totally. Hail Rider Space Type, ooh, baby. That was pretty good. Is this 500 cross one? Yeah, it is. That's 550? Damn. That's a pretty good haul, guys. So anyways, <laughs> that was pretty nice little uh, bonus there at the end. I appreciate that. Um, ooh, goodies. So, thanks for watching again. I do appreciate it. Subscribe, notifications turn on, all that fun stuff. Smash that like button, and I'll catch you guys next week with another game update. Thanks again, guys. Bye.